Welcome Zodiac. It's a daily collective read for whoever resonates. Um, you find us uh, here today doing our good zen, just carrying water, chopping wood, using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck for today's reading. 9th of November. You know, I, I just keep saying, like, this is not really a daily reading. It's kind of a journey. So I think these are timeless reads. I, I have to, uh, I have them uh, on a playlist uh, uh, on my site. So you could go back and look at any read. Um, the daily soul uh, family read, soul try read, I want to call it. Um, so we're going to look at four cards today. This is really a modified past, present, future read. I'm just adding in a blocking. And the blocking doesn't necessarily have to be bad. Sometimes that's like a square energy where we get a transit of Saturn or something to uh, us and we want to uh, causes that energy of wanting to deal with something. That's where a lot of times we grow and, you know, uh, something kind of bugs us so it kind of uh, encourages us to take care of it. Um, and then we add advice for spirit and, and an outcome. So here we are, strength. Beautiful strength card too in the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. Uh, I think it's the youngest woman I've seen depicted with the lion of any card, um, like a teenager. So, you know, you have to read Leo energy and you have to read to here too, uh, youth. And this is our energy here in and around relationships, in and around love, in and around manifestation, spirituality. Um, the life's purpose energy that I feel is like my major uh, uh, purpose of this reading and I read myself into this too you know I'm a third deacon Sagittarius sun which gives me a Leo flavor um, Leo is my 12th house uh, where I do have Pluto but Pluto's in Virgo split house with Virgo rising um, but Uranus is solid in my 12th house and um, my only fixed energy is Uranus and um, also um, Venus and Neptune and Scorpio. So fixed fire is there. Um, I could say this for me, it's, uh, boy, it's, when it's triggered, um, amazing things happen in my life having to do with the higher mind. Um, a large dose of magic mushrooms that I took myself and grew and used in a shamanic way for healing. Uh, let's just say it worked and, and it was when I finally got into astrology many years later studying transits I went back and looked and oh my god was Uranus a part of that it was all kind of triggered there at that time and um, but it's just such a strong energy it should be a physical feeling too and I'm feeling it I mean it's a little pathetic to say I'm feeling it but hey I am and I am grateful too, you know, just sitting here feeling like how grateful I am um, and how tired I am, you know, but grateful. And, so I, and feeling a little bit like I'm off my knees and I actually am standing up a little bit and walking around, ambulating. That's kind of the energy. Uh, but for other people, this could be you're out running, you're doing things, you're, you know, um, it's also with strength to me always comes a blessing, especially in this kind of reading. It's, it's two-edged sword, though, because it's a blessing and it's spirit telling us that we do have strength. And I think with this, it's that we are protected by our guides and angels, and I feel it. Um, it's amazing, uh, powerful protection there. I mean, look, it's like she's not even afraid of that lion, you know. But also, it kind of often means that we're going to be challenged, but it's telling us we're going to have the strength to overcome the challenge. So I'm just saying within it is a challenge, but it's a fire. It's, again, maybe that square energy I was saying, I was feeling, uh, maybe that's coming into it and uh, making us want to take action. You know, I mean, if, if that action needs, to, we need to be brave, that can be part of it too. I do read the bottom of the deck highly in this reading. We have the page of swords on the bottom here as the overall energy. Here I think with the page of swords, it's uh, something that wants to be said, 
a boundary that wants to be drawn, um, self-expression, um, uh, something like this coming out. Um, something very specific here, this one. Now we say this is that blocking position, seven of cups. And this can be even emotional turmoil, um, not quite being able to grasp something emotionally, not being able to quite get a handle on something emotionally. Um, you, I got to think that we're talking about this here energy um, now. Because um, I said with this blessing of strength comes a little bit of a um, foreboding because you're going to need strength for something. We're going to need strength for something. And maybe it's to, this would cut through this energy here, even though a page, something very specific that we emotionally are not clear about, you know, in our lives. And this is more about spirituality and manifestation than a person here. So this is something inner, as most of these readings are, something very internal. I think for me, it's about believing. It's about really believing. And not uh, maybe in myself, but not even in myself, believing in something bigger than myself, but really believing and trusting. Getting to that point, this specifically for me, is really facing that point and asking myself, am I really okay with whatever happens? I have that much trust in spirit that now I'm in alignment, I'm doing everything I can, I'm doing the right things. Um, aligned myself with the right energy, the right people in my life that are positive and it do nothing but add to my life. Um, and so am I really now going to be able to have that trust? Because I kind of I kind of don't, you know? That's a challenge. It's the challenge is to acquiesce. The challenge is to let go and look advice from spirit. I get to think more than anything else with this right now because this is about manifestation, spirituality, internal stuff, ourselves. This is stop overthinking it, Dave. Stop overthinking it and making it complex, you know. Um, and it's kind of like, I got to say it like this, what I'm hearing in my head is stop taking it into the muckety-muck. Stop it with the muckety-muck. All the muckety-muck, the shadow stuff. It's like, there's. I feel like this, this is like also for me like uh, this... Uh, program probably from childhood right uh, running because I just keep going back to it keep going back to it um, and I went with this whole thing my mom was so spiritual my the grandma I grew up in a matriarchal uh, uh, home um, and surrounded in that and I think it's so mixed up with abandonment issues that's what this is huh what this is <laughs> that's what that is that's not lying cheating stealing right there I'm um, definitely strategic thinking um, and you know this person if you look at these cards um, the seven of swords looking right at the seven of cups you know and both sevens you know and we have here blocking and advice from spirit so what is that that's advice about what's blocking here and remember we're promised already that we have the strength to overcome this to deal with this okay Sometimes what all this is just part of life. It's a day in the life of a spiritual person that just living our lives and uh, growing. And you know, it's not like we hit some point and okay, now we just sit sit somewhere and watch everyone else. Um, no, we're like now we got to participate more. That's the deal. King of Swords. Look at that. Now coming in here <laughs> with the Page of Swords. Overall energy. And we're told we're going to have the strength to deal with this. And for me, I think I kind of shared what it is as a mental construct for me. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a threshold. It's a hard, it's, it's a lot to really get to that point. Not where you're playing games, but you really seriously, and I got to say, I really seriously accept completely the will of God, the will of God, the will of spirit, I think of it, the will of source, I think of it, but 
It's the same. This is the outcome, the king of swords. There's no more commanding king. And to go from the page of swords to the king of swords here in the outcome, and this is after we get through these two sevens, this uh, very challenging energy here. You know, seven's also a blessing. It's like we have a blessing here to overcome this last thing. Um... You know, they say the last spirit the last sin is spiritual pride but you know that's just ego and I think for me this is ego stuff it's uh, you know it's like no um, I want you know what I want you know I want cookies God <laughs> and God's he's not getting cookies today Dave <laughs> it's like damn you know I want cookies and I get all bent out of shape about I don't have cookies right at that moment you know uh, or, or I could really play along with it and say, okay, well, it's probably for my best. And honestly, look at me. Really, do I need a cookie? Okay, we're good. Uh, and I'm asking for that kind of prayer. You know, guide me, protect me, give me strength. It's my constant prayer. And the white light, which I do regularly. But here, I think this is a really taking a command of this whole thing. Um, and I know a lot of people don't like this, but this is how I feel of it, because we're all split. God just splintered itself into us, and we're all heading back into the Godhead, I think is how it works. Um, but this is us, in a way, saying, like, you know, I am source. But I, that's maybe how this becomes resolved. It's like, well, of course I accept whatever happens, because I am. I am source. You know, whatever happens in the next minute, in the next day, in the next week, in the next month, in the next year, whatever happens, we will be there and we will be the same person on our spiritual path. And I think the faith is just to have um, um, that whatever that is, I mean, we will, with strength here coming in and ending up as the king of swords, we will have the power to deal with it um, and um, it looks like it looks pretty solid I think it's gonna be okay <laughs> I tell you that going in because this strength is like a blessing here so I think this just speaks a little bit to a little bit of our souls work this is something all of this I think could transpire in a day of souls work within a moment of time as we just feel something or think something or who knows right uh, and all of this kind of thing goes, uh -huh, and kind of uh, integrates, I think. I'd like to think of it that way. So thank you, guys. Um, if you could think of anywhere to share this, any kind of platform, uh, please do. That would help me out. Uh, comments help a lot the channel. If you want to help, uh, likes, uh, and, uh, you know, tell friend, tell friend, and do subscribe. I appreciate your help. Thank you, guys.